Welcome to Sunday School for June 6, 2021, for ages 12 to 14. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's memory verse. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. From Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. Why do you worry? Millie eagerly looked at her name tag. I can't believe we're finally old enough to come to such a fancy dinner. She whispered to her friend, Avery. They found their places. Mrs. Arthur invited girls from all over the city for her annual gala dinner. Mrs. Arthur lightly tapped her fork against her lemonade glass. The room grew eerily quiet as her welcoming grin faded. Imagine, if I told you we have no food to serve, she softly spoke. Concerned looks darted from table to table. She continued, this happened to George Muller in the 1800s. Muller, a godly man, and his wife started orphanages for needy children. Muller believed he should trust God, never ask people for donations, and never go in debt. Instead, he prayed. He prayed for their needs and for potential donors. Can you imagine Muller's thoughts one desperate morning? Children sat down for breakfast, but he knew there was no food. What would you do? How would you feel? Asked Mrs. Arthur. The girls looked shocked. I wonder if she's trying to tell us something, whispered Avery. Yeah, I've waited to come for over a year, said Millie. Do you think her caterer skipped out? After what seemed a long time, Mrs. Arthur continued. According to his own autobiography, Mr. Muller thanked God for breakfast anyway. While praying, someone knocked on the door. A local baker said he awoke during the night and felt urged to bake bread for the children. Soon after, a milkman arrived. His milk cart had broken down. Could Mrs. Muller's children drink the milk? It was spoiled before he could repair his cart. Over the years, Mr. Muller's filled his journals with accounts of God's answered prayers and care. Mrs. Arthur smiled. Tonight, you will have your amazing feast, but I hope as you eat, you will think of Mr. Muller, trusting God for his daily needs. Let's never take God's gifts for granted. Today's lesson scripture is found in Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 to 34. And that says, therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Behold, the fowls of the air, where they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof.
Why do you worry? Jesus' instruction to not worry might seem easier said than done. Jesus' followers risked their very lives when accepting Christ. The tight-knit community relationships determined acceptance. Religious leaders shunned or even expelled unacceptable Jews from the synagogue. Jesus' followers might lose jobs, homes, and, and even families. Discipleship truly cost everything. Jesus reminded followers that God takes care of his entire creation. Jesus said to seek the kingdom of God above everything else and to live righteously. God will satisfy every need. Our lives might be different than Jesus' followers, but we still worry. Would you choose to give up your security to follow Jesus? What can you do when you begin to worry? When tempted to worry, remember. The R in remember stands for recall God's past faithfulness. The E stands for enjoy times exploring nature. The M stands for model trust for others. E stands for eliminate negative thoughts and words. B stands for bravely believe. E stands for exercise, encourage others. R stands for respond to God in prayer and praise. Keep calm and carry on. In today's story, Mrs. Arthur told the true account of evangelist George Mueller. He thanked God for breakfast when he had absolutely nothing to feed the children. God used a baker and a milkman to take care of the children. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7 tells us to cast all our cares on God because he cares. Don't you imagine Mr. Mueller's faith grew when God answered his prayers? Faith grows when you need prayer. Other times faith grows when God uses you to meet someone else's need. Are you ready to trust God for everything and watch your faith grow? This week, tell a friend about Mr. Mueller. Show your friend how to make a prayer jar. When problems come and you start to worry, say a prayer. Tell God you trust him instead. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 8. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Proverbs chapter 3, beginning at verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 37, verse 25. I have been young and now am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Colossians chapter 3 
beginning at verse 1. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 through 21. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Psalm 121, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither sleep nor so shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite might be by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. God, we thank you for this lesson in the name of Jesus. We thank you for meeting our needs. You are our shepherd. And that means we have everything we need, Father. You are Jehovah Jireh, God. Thank you for supplying everything that we need. That's including us being able to move around freely. For we know in you we live and move and have our being. Thank you for healing us, Father, when we were sick. In the name of Jesus, thank you for comforting us when we were hurt, God. In the name of Jesus, Thank you for the shelter that you give us, the food that you give us, the clothing that you supply us with, Father. Thank you for the teaching in the name of Jesus. Let our hearts be good ground and to receive, to receive what your word says about us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God and amen. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.